In this video, we are going to continue our lesson about multiplying a fraction by another fraction, multiplying a whole number by a fraction, and multiplying a mixed number by a fraction. Let's study the different rules in multiplying fractions. We'll start with multiplying a fraction to another fraction. Example or given is 3 fifths times 1 third. How are we going to get their product? Here are some of the simple steps that we can do in order to find the product of our fractions. So firstly, we are going to multiply the numerator of our first fraction by the numerator of our second fraction. So that's equal to 3 times 1, which is equal to 3. Then, we are going to multiply the denominator of our first fraction by the denominator of our second fraction. So that's equal to 5 times 3 which is equal to 15. Lastly, we are going to express the product in the lowest term whenever it is possible. So since our product is 3 over 15 and they have a common factor which is 3, so we are going to simplify it by dividing both the numerator and the denominator by 3. 3 divided by 3, that's equal to 1, while 15 divided by 3 is equal to 5. So our final answer is 1 fifth. Therefore, 3 fifths times 1 third is equal to 1 fifth. Another example, we have 3 fifths times 2 sevenths. First step, we are going to multiply the numerators. That's 3 times 2. Then we are going to multiply the denominators. That's 5 times 7. We are going to simplify 3 times 2. That's equal to 6. While 5 times 7, that's equal to 35. So 3 fifths times 2 sevenths is equal to 6 over 35. Another example, 2 sevenths times 3 fourths is equal to. So first step, we are going to multiply both the numerators. That's 2 times 3. Then multiply both the denominators. That's 7 times 4. And simplify. 2 times 3, that's equal to 6. While 7 times 4, that's equal to 28. 6 over 28 is not yet in the lowest term, so we can reduce it by dividing both the numerator and the denominator by their greatest common factor, which is 2. 6 divided by 2, that's equal to 3, while 28 divided by 2 is equal to 14. So our final answer is 3 over 14. Next is multiplying a whole number by a fraction. To multiply a whole number by a fraction, denote as a times c over d is equal to ac over d, where a is the whole number and it has a denominator of 1, while c is our numerator and d is the denominator. For example, our given is 3 times 2 sevenths is equal to. So to multiply a whole number by a fraction, simply multiply the numerator by the whole number. So our numerator here is 2 and our whole number is 3. So we are going to multiply 3 times 2. Then, just copy the denominator, which is 7. So, to simplify, 3 times 2 is equal to 6. And 
copy the denominator which is 7. So 3 times 2 sevenths is equal to 6 sevenths. Another example, we have 4 times 3 pips is equal to. So we are going to multiply the numerator which is 3 by the whole number which is 4. So our equation is 4 times 3 then copy the denominator which is 5. So next, simplify 4 times 3, that's equal to 12, and copy the denominator, which is 5. 12 over 5 is not yet in the lowest term, therefore we're going to divide 12 by 5. We get 2 and a remainder of 2. So our final answer is 2 and 2 pips. Another one is multiplying a mixed fraction by a fraction. So if our given is a mixed fraction, we need first to change it to improper fraction before we multiply it to another one or another fraction. For example, we have 2 and 1 third times 3 fourths. So our mixed fraction here is 2 and 1 third. And to change it to improper fraction, we are going to multiply the denominator 3 to its whole number which is 2 3 times 2 is equal to 6 then add the product to its numerator which is 1 so 6 plus 1 that's equal to 7 then copy the denominator which is 3 then copy the operation and the second fraction and now we can multiply directly the numerators and the denominators so for the numerator we have 7 times 3 and for the denominator we have 3 times 4 if we are going to simplify 7 times 3 that's equal to 21 and 3 times 4 that's equal to 12 21 over 12 is not yet in the lowest term so we are going to divide 21 by 12. So that's equal to 1 and 9 over 12. But 9 and 12 can be reduced into its lowest term by dividing both the numerator and the denominator with their GCF, which is 3. So 9 divided by 3, that's equal to 3, while 12 divided by 3 is 4. So, our final answer is 1 and 3 fourths. And now, let's try to multiply mentally proper fractions with denominators up to 10. Example, we have 1 third times 3 fourths is equal to. So, to multiply mentally, we need to find first if there are any common number that we can divide to our numerator and our denominator so for our given our numerators here are 1 and 3 and for our denominators we have 3 and 4 so if there are any common number that we can divide so we can use the cancellation method so our common number here is 3 so we can cancel out 3 and another 3 for the numerator so 3 divided by 3 that's equal to 1 and another 3 divided by 3 that's equal to 1 so this method helps us to reduce our given to the lowest term before we multiply so our new numerators now is 1 times 1 and for the denominators that's equal to 1 times 4 and if you are going to simplify, 1 times 1, it's equal to 1. And 1 times 4, it's equal to 4. So, 1 third times 3 fourths is equal to 1 fourth. Another example, we have 5 eighths times 2 tenths. So, we need to find if there are common number that we can divide to 5, to our numerator 5, and to our denominators so for 5 and 10 there is a common number 
that we can divide them that's 5 so 5 divided by 5 that's equal to 1 and 10 divided by 5 that's equal to 2 and for our numerator 2 and denominator 8 there is also a common number that can divide them that's 2 so if you are going to divide 8 by 2 that's equal to 4 and if you are going to divide 2 by 2 that's equal to 1 and now our new numerators will be 1 times 1 and for the denominator that's equal to 4 times 2 and if we simplify 1 times 1 that's equal to 1 and 4 times 2 that's equal to 8 so our final answer is 1 8 Another example, we have 4 tenths times 3 ninths. So, first, we need to identify if there are any number that we can divide to our numerator, 4, and any of our denominators. So, for 4 and 10, there is a common divisor, that's 2. So, we can cancel out 4, and if we are going to divide that by 2, that's equal to 2. And we can cancel out 10 by dividing it by 2. 10 divided by 2, that's equal to 5. Next, for 3 and 9, we have a common divisor, that's 3. So 3 divided by 3, that's equal to 1. And 9 divided by 3, that's equal to 3. Now, our new numerator will be 2 times 1. And for our denominators, that's equal to 5 times 3. If we simplify, 2 times 1, that's equal to 2, and 5 times 3, that's equal to 15. So our final answer now is 2 fifteenths. For your activity, find the product of the following fractions. Express your answer in the lowest term, if possible. Here are our given. So I'll give you time to solve for the products of the following fractions, but if you need a longer time, you may pause this video. Time's up. Let's check if your answers are correct. Number one, one four times two fifths. So we can multiply the numerators and the denominators directly, or we can use the cancellation method to solve for the product. By cancellation method, we can cancel out two by two, so that's equal to one, and the denominator here, we can divide by 2. 4 divided by 2, that's equal to 2. So our new numerators are 1 times 1, that's equal to 1. And for the denominators, that's 2 times 5, which is equal to 10. So our final answer is 1 10. For number 2, 22 times 2 over 6 is equal to 2. We can also use cancellation method. We can divide 22 by 2, that's equal to 11. And 6 here divide, can be divided by 2, that's equal to 3. We, for the numerator, we can multiply 11 and 2, and that's equal to 22. Then copy the denominator, which is 3. 22 divided by 3, that's equal to 7, and a remainder of 1. So our final answer is 7 and 1 third. For the remaining number, you may write your answer in the comment section so that I can check if you got the correct answer. 